so we gotta pull the bed off this thing. We're gonna be changing the leaf springs. Yeah, I know. You don't need to pop the bed to, to do the leaf springs. It'll make life a whole lot easier and these beds come off relatively easy as long as the bolts come out. But they're probably not gonna come out very easy. There you go. Soak down. We've been soaking them down for a couple of weeks. This is one of my company trucks. <clears throat> These springs are uh, kind of arched the opposite way. Yeah. Yeah, you got dirt in there still. We broke the tab on it a couple of weeks ago just testing to see how hard these were, were going to be to come out. So, I'm down to one. Tyler's day got a whole lot easier if this one comes out. Yeah. You're welcome, Tyler. Me and Zach helped you three or four weeks ago when we started this. Hey, what are the odds that have come out now? I broke the tab. I, I, it's gonna spin freely. Tap broke. <laughs> One out of six is not bad. So Mr. Tyler's got the bed ready already. Because me and Zach helped him out a couple oh, weeks ago. <laughs> and we uh pretty lube. Grab this. It it, it, it. We got a little bit of frame right. damage. Oh, we're gonna have to fix that while we have it out. Oh, yeah. So the frame broke back here, or not really broke, it's just gone. <laughs> Leaf spring bracket is broke. Uh, I feel like it's same on that side. A few days now. So, I feel like this is gonna be in here for a few days now. We're gonna pop it we'll outside. Go change brackets, put these springs on. Wash it. A little bit of weldy, a little bit of weldy. Get these brackets off. Fix the rear of the frame. We're also gonna put a hitch on the back of this. So yeah. Always gotta add more stuff to the list than what you plan. Alright, so we got Tyler washed in the back half so it's clean. We're going to have to cut in front of the rear leaf spring and load the frame back out. 
run about new pieces of C channel in there and put new rear brackets on it. So we'll get that washed, get it drip dried, and get the shop cleaned back up. Alright, so we got the leaf springs pulled out. Now we gotta get these brackets here off. They're the mounts, so we can replace them because they're broke. We've got to put some kind of support in up there. And we're putting a trailer hitch back here so that will act as a support for back here. And do something with this frame right here. I think we'll put a piece of C channel in. Let's uh, get that stuff torn off and get stuff mocked in or mocked up. try to get this button back up today get leaf springs back on it get the bumper bolted down um, hopefully get the bed back on it I try to bolt this bumper down some first so I can jack this frame up enough to get the leaf springs back on it um, get that done so there's another center support in here where that one's rusted out so we got good support get the bed back on it and uh, hopefully it'll be good to go We'll see. All right, so that was Zach there talking, uh, getting the day started. I was actually on another job, but what Zach is doing here, he is putting the new uh, brackets on for the leaf springs. Uh, there's new brackets and rear shackles that uh, we got for the rear of this as well. So that's what he's doing here. He's bolting those on uh, and then he'll be getting ready to install the leaf springs. <laughs>
All right. Zach has got pretty much this darn near all done. He's got the new leaf springs in, new shackles and mounts. And we got a piece of C channel on the back of the frame. He's got the bolts drilled out for tow hit or the hitch through the C on this side and the leaf spring brackets. So now what I'm gonna do is I need to put a support in here because that support is missing. And putting shocks on, once you get shocks on and we'll get some of this welded up. And Ow. Check the wiring. I guess I'm gonna stop there because it's really worth that tight. Or a breakable. And yeah, well, should have her buttoned up here relatively soon. Measured out for our center support. See if it fits. After we do it? Yeah. Are you gonna try to get this boat out before we uh Alright, well we got the frame painted, yeah, we'll the that. wiring fixed, All right, we the leaf spring shackle and mount on both sides. We got the back part of the frame patched in, a new cross support in. It didn't actually break the pack. New shocks. Yeah. Yeah. Now we gotta throw the bed on and should be ready. We have to put shocks up front. We completely rebuilt the front end on this thing a couple months ago. So that was the only thing we didn't do. Yeah, now we're gonna throw the, the bed on and put her together and she'll be ready.
saw it a couple days later but the ranger's been back together we got some mileage on it and the uh, springs are holding up and the frames holding up it is uh pretty muddy but that's just part of our uh county roads we drive on on a day-to-day -day basis so but yeah these these springs are holding up i believe this one's fixed we are so yeah i think next thing we gotta do is i gotta get some tires for it and she'll be ready but i think i think this spring i'm gonna be uh probably repainting this one and my black one over there uh yeah yeah but that's all together and i guess it handles a whole heck of a lot better per what tyler says so all right well don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh we'll catch you on the next one